Johnson's got it. He's got the goal. Long View and Mesquite, the district opener, here to tell you all about it, Brent Taylor and Johnny Vaughn. Well, it's green out night. It's green out night here in Lobo Stadium. I'm going to repeat to you, Lobo Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. forgot what that looked like almost. We've been gone for a month. Three straight road games in the, in the open night. So Mesquite visits Lobo Stadium tonight, one and four. Long View, two and three. <laughs> as, you, as, you always say, as you always say, John, it's a new season when you start district play. Yeah, I mean, it, it, everybody's at zero and zero. Six, there's six teams in this district. They have five district games, and four of them are going to go to the playoffs. And, and what that means is with that number going out of the number of teams, you, you really don't want to start off with a loss because it really puts you behind the eight ball. And Longview is back at home. The last time we were at home, we actually lost, which is John Tyler. And, uh, you know, this is this is an important game. I mean, you, you really need to start district and play well and come out with a win. Mesquite uh, has had a rough season this year. They, they've been uh, uh, almost uh, – their offense has just hardly been able to do anything. But their quarterback has been hurt uh, most of the year, and he's back tonight. But, uh, you know, they – again, if they can turn their season around right here tonight, so I think you'll see a good effort by them at least uh, as we start this game. What about the keys tonight? I think the keys for for Longview, it, and I don't think this will happen, but, you know, we played such a tough stretch against such great teams, all of them on the road except John Tyler. We had a week off, and, and what you don't want to do is, is lose your mental edge, you know. I mean, it, it, and it's hard to believe that that would happen, but, but really and truly, we've almost had like a, a playoff, uh, like the intensity of, yeah. of the teams. Uh, if you go and you win this, you can go in the playoffs, of the four, four straight games that we've played. And sometimes that takes a little out of you. But I believe getting the off week where it was this year, I think that was perfect. I think you'll see Longview come out. If Longview plays their game, plays physical, doesn't make mistakes, Mesquite is not as good as them now, you know, and, and I think that's what you got to do. And I think for Longview to lose tonight, they're going to have to make mistakes, turn the ball over, do silly things, uh, fumble, penalties, and all that. Otherwise, if they'll just play their game, uh, be physical, I think they can win the game. So the key to me is is you just don't make the middle errors. Okay, 11 5 Everybody was off last week, so let's talk about what everybody in DeSoto played last night. Yeah, the, the DeSoto did, and they got off. Uh, actually, North Mesquite played them uh, really well last night. It ended up being 30-20. to 20. North Mesquite, what, what North, North Mesquite does have is they've got an outstanding running back, probably, I don't know, probably in the top five in the state. Uh, uh, Joe Bergeron, he had over 200 yards. And, you know, when, anytime you have a great back, if he's having a pretty good night, you can stay in the game. And that's kind of what they did against DeSoto. But DeSoto did come away with a victory. Uh, North Mesquite uh, goes to 3-3 three and three on the year and starts 0-1 in the district. But they, they, they've got a pretty good team. DeSoto uh, at 5-1 and one now, uh, they've got a good team. They're probably – I think the favorites in district along along yeah. with with us, uh, Mesquite Horn has turned their program around. I mean, they're they're three and two, but they, they, you know they struggled the last two years, and then and we've got Mesquite comes in at one and four, and then Lee is at zero and five. And the, the games tonight, uh, you've got uh, uh, Mes Mesquite, uh, of course, playing Longview here. Tyler Lee is at Mesquite Horn, and then. DeSoto North uh, Mesquite played last we'll night. We'll have a game every week. Nobody has open after this week. We're at the top ten. Lobby got a few votes this week, but not moved into the top ten. Yeah, and the, the top ten, especially at the top, has been pretty close to the same all year. Euless Trinity and Katie up at one and two. Uh, Round Rock, Stony Point is three. I might mention, Tr Trinity has just been annihilating oh, they everybody. Have. I mean, they, they, they just... Uh, you know, they won state last year. They have, have they won state the last two years? No, I think they've just, 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 just last year. Man. Allen is four. Uh, Katie Cinco Ranch. You, might, you know, last year, they uh, Austin Westlake, they actually went to overtime to get that win. Yeah. And, and, and Westlake had a chance to win that thing at, at the end of the game, and they, they didn't. Katie Cinco Ranch is five. The Woodlands are six. Lufkin is seven. Woodlands and Lufkin both in the same district. 
Capel is eight. And Capel's an interesting team because uh, a couple of years ago they, they threw the ball all the time and now they, they're back running the ball a lot. They've got a back Cam Neely who's rushed, uh, I think he's over 1,000 yards or close to it at this point. And, and uh, they, they uh, are just almost a pure running team now, which is, is quite a contrast. And, of course, they're in the same district with, with uh, South Lake Carroll. Beaumont Westbrook is nine, and DeSoto is up in the top ten now at ten. Longview's on the field. Mesquite's on the field. We'll be back with the toss of the coin, the opening kickoff after this two-minute timeout. Salas, a left foot soccer style. We wait on the whistle. And we're glad you're with us as Salas approaches the ball, kicks this one short and high, and to the 15, back up to the 20. 25, 26 yard line where Longview will scrimmage from their 26, first and 10. They have Boren, Stoker, Torres, the center, Green, and Rocho, and they become a very good offensive unit. Divine, the tight end, Bubba Poole, the split receiver, Lane Thomason, the other wide receiver, Petey Robertson, the quarterback, and Dakota Anthony, along with Jason Fagans, are the running backs. When they're in the eye back, there'll be one back, and we'll get those as we, come, as we go along. First down and 10, Longview from their 26 yard line. Eye formation, tight end near side, and double wide receiver set. Play action pass. They're going to go down the field. It's caught by Dakota Anthony at the 40, up to the 45, and out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Well, that's the play action as they just ran Dakota Anthony out of the flat. Mesquite just had to, uh, all their secondary deep, but nobody picked up the flat at all. Dakota Anthony was wide open, made the catch. Had a good play on first down. At the 44-yard line, Longview will scrimmage their own 44. No score in the game. Just underway, 11.48 to go. Wide receivers to both sides of the field. Tied in, flexed on the far side. Now motion comes Olsen to the near side of the field. There's Fagans. Fagans hit at the line of scrimmage. No gain. It's going to be second down. Well, that's Maybe got a yard. Yeah, but Mesquite had uh, Cole Brewster right in the backfield and uh, hit Fagans and he just falls forward for a yard. Well, Quintus Mooring also made the tackle for Mesquite, a linebacker, so it's second down and a nine for Longview. E.T. Jackson in the game for Longview at wide receiver, along with Poole. So it's a double wide, three wide receiver set from the spread formation for Longview on second down and nine. Here comes Jackson in motion, or Poole in motion. They give it to him on the sweep play. Poole's gonna be knocked out of bounds, maybe a yard gain, it's gonna be third down. And it's going to be third down and eight. And the reverse and oh, the, yes, actually the sweep to Poole. And he's a little guy. And Mesquite wasn't really fooled and pick up a only yard. Divine in the game for Longview at tight end. So it's third down. And Longview needs eight for a first down from their own 46-yard line. Double wide receivers to the far side. Tied in and Devine on the near side of the field as a wing back out of the spread formation. Third down and eight. Robertson back to throw it. Got pretty good protection. He throws this one down the field for Olson. Caught at the 20 yard line and down to the 16. That was a nice throw by Petey Robertson. They ran Devine underneath and ran the uh, deep flag route to Olson. And I think that just kind of fooled them. That's, that's probably the deepest pass that, or deepest route that Olson's run this year. And he was uh, open, a good throw, good catch. It was indeed. The, Officiating crew tonight, the referee is Larry Clemens, the umpire is Jim Gerald, the head linesman is Wayne Brunt, the line judge is Buddy Ferguson, and the back judge is Jerry Henderson. First and 10 long view inside the 20th, the 18th of Mesquite. They give it to Fagans, left side he goes, he's to the 10, inside the five, fights all the way to the three yard line. That was a nice run and a nice block by Longview's offensive line. He got all the way to the three-yard line, or let's see where the spot's going to be. Four inside the three, or inside the fourth to three. It's going to be first down and goal Longview at the Mesquite three-yard line. Yeah, that was just a straight uh, give to uh, Fagans in the backfield with the lead from Dakota Anthony, and he just knocked the guy out of the way and made the 14-yard gain, gets it inside the five. Double tight end set for Longview on first down. There's Fagans again, right side he goes. Is he in the end zone? No, he's right at the one yard line, right at the lip. He is about a foot short. Man, that's right at the goal line. It really looked like he 
he made enough yardage to be into the end zone, but they don't give it to Longview. It's at the goal line, second down and goal for Longview. 9.46 to go, no score in the game. Robertson, quarterback sneak, touchdown. 6-4 and 224 pounds. Longview's on the board, 6-0 with 9.39 to go first quarter, and that was a nice drive. Yeah, it was an excellent drive to start the game. Seven plays, they go... Uh, 74 yards on the seventh place and a touchdown on one yard run by Robertson. Here's Jenkins to attempt the extra point. Lane Thompson will hold it and Jenkins will kick it. Snap comes good. Thompson gets it down right up through the middle and seven up in Longview. 9.39 to go here in the first quarter. Back on 104.1 The Ranch in one minute. 